Hi there, it's Tanya from Tattered Treasure. Let me just shut my door. Yeah. So today it's week three and it's episode one. Um, <clears throat> it's actually Saturday here. Um, I'm going to film all three today and then they'll go up as normal Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So this is today's pocket. Let me see if we can get it all in shot. So there's like a base and then three pockets uh, at the side. So go in like yeah. get it in, that's it. So it's a really cool one. So I think it'd be too big for yeah, it's too big for my journal, so but obviously this back part would get it'd get stuck down. So you'd have probably have it on that side. So that's that. Um I'm a bit tired because it's my first week back at work. So I'm not gonna put the timer on. Um I'm obviously not gonna dawdle, but um yeah, I don't fancy the the added pressure of of the timer. So we shall we shall plod along today. Um let me get my <coughs> roller out. I feel because these are quite long that you're not gonna get a great a great angle. Right. Um so the back bit I think it's eight and a half inches. So it's eight and a half inches. Um, I can put my glasses on. So that's 21 and a half centimetres. And then width it's four and a half. So that's 11 and a half centimetres. So I've cut three of those out. <coughs> what I've used is the back pages of the Edith Holden Country Garden um, and these are just um, all the the names of everything all the flowers and stuff and then the Latin um, translation so I've just used them because you know you're, you're only going to see parts of the writing poking out so I thought that would be a good good use of those probably would back that um, because it, I mean, it is good paper, but um, still just feel a little bit flimsy. But I don't know what it'd be like once it was on a page. So I may, uh, before you know, when I go to use them, I may actually back those. So I've got three of those cut out, and first I'm just gonna round all the corners of of all of them. So I'm using the 10 millimeter <clears throat> um, corner punch. So it gives you a nice, a nice big, big rounded one with it being <coughs> a big, big area. So just go around each one. like so. So I'm going to set those to one side. Um, I don't need that anymore. And then what I've cut out is three pieces and I've tried to do them from the same same picture so it's like a, a sort of continuation of and then that one's in the middle. So that's um, from Ali, the Cottony Crafter. That's 18 coffee papers. And it's got the nice <coughs> lace imprint. So these measure at obviously four and a half across and three and a half um, length. And what we're going to do is I'm going to bring my scoreboard over. 
I'll just see if you can. In. Yeah, you've got the. So the bottom and the top, I'm going to score at half an inch. So that will be my top. I'm going to turn it round all the way and then do another half. So both the top and the bottom, I've got a fold. <clears throat> and then either this side or that side needs a half inch. Um, so I'm just going to look at the pictures, what I've got to see which would be the best um, part to lose. I think I'm going to lose <coughs> those ones because the other ones went, went the other way. So I'm going to score that at half. Score that one at half. And score that one at half. And then do the bottom and the top of these other two, like so. <clears throat> like that. So that's one set done. Why I've got my scoreboard out, I shall do all the all the sets. So let's have a look at this one. So on this one, I would lose that side. So let's go half, half. <laughs> Let me move those ones out of the way. And half. And then we need half at the bottom half at the top, half at the bottom, half at the top. So that's those two done. Let's do this one. Half at the bottom and half at the top. So the picture pages, I've got them out of the country garden and I've got them out of the nature notes, which are both Edith Holden box. So on this one, it's a bit because there's a butterfly there and there's a butterfly there. So if I did half inch on, on there, I would lose that. I'm going to do it that way because there's this writing on this side. Oops, went screw with. So that's half there. Then We'll turn it round, do half and half. So half and half, and then the top part is half. And then this one, it doesn't really matter which direction it's in. So obviously, if you're using non-directional paper you, you haven't even got to to think about it so that's them all scored let me move the board out the way <coughs> so now get my scissors I'm gonna stand up to make sure that you can see see what I'm doing so we can see if I fold them down fold that one so we can see here that there's this box oh it's really raining here and then we're gonna cut so we're not going to go into this part and it really doesn't matter you know yeah that doesn't look attractive it's it's not the same each side really doesn't matter and then the tops we're just going to snip 
and stuffing it and then they will all fit nice to be to be glued down okay so do another one so I always fold it first just so you can see that that mid uh, corner crease that I think the more you think about it the more you you know you just it, it makes you dither um just just do it <laughs> just do it if if it's not fitting very nice after you can always then just trim it a little bit but um yeah it is one of them things where just just don't think about it 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 doesn't matter you know what kind of a shape it is oh, let me I'll turn the volume off my computer and then I'm gonna just snip there and snip there and that just makes you know it gives you the gusset all the way round and uh, it just makes it neat so that's that might as well do them all in all in one go yep A bit wonky <laughs> but yeah things like this I used to absolutely dread doing because I always thought that they had to be totally spot on for it to, to all fit together and it doesn't I would say it is one of those things the more you do think about it the, the harder it, it is And even if it, it doesn't, you know, look completely right, you can always cover it over something over with some lace or or something. <clears throat> but yeah, I didn't make pockets for a long time when I first started because I, I found it all quite, quite nerve-wracking. Right, so <clears throat> let's just get rid of all these corners. Now we're going to do some inking. So I'm going to use the, the gathered twigs and I'm just going to go all the way round. I've got a step go back to that in a second so if you don't like inking you don't have to do do this part <clears throat> I just like it just to give it a bit of a age look and to define uh, so what have I done with I've got my hole punch so what I'm going to do is line all three of them up together, make sure all the ends meet and I'm just going to take a small thumb hole out just like that and doing them all together then means you know they're all at the same, same height. So that's that. Like it. it must be absolutely bouncing out there and then we've got this as base so I'm just gonna run some some ink all around there so 
about that. Then I'm gonna get my bone folder and just just give them all the corners a, a rub down, just so they're nice and nice and flat. Bottom one. I've done that the wrong way round. I don't like that. Is that the right picture? Yeah. Oh, how did I do that? So two going one way and one one going the other way. Um, yeah, <laughs> I obviously did that when I was scoring it. Oh dear. <laughs> right. So I'm just gonna look to see what kind of spacing it is, just to get get it right. I could actually, <clears throat> I'm going to turn it round, because, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a picture on the back, so I've just turned it inside, inside out. <laughs> oh dear, <clears throat> yeah, I'd not noticed that at all. So I'm just going to run some glue round. I'm on the last bits of, of my glue. I'm going to get a delivery today. Oh, crikey. It's got a big glooper on it. Oh, I can't get it off. Yeah, and then some so glue on all all three. And then just try and eyeball that up so it's straight. I've got that glue for now. Just yeah, I think that's straight. And then I'm just going to use my bone folder and just bone the shit back down again. So that is one. Quick, get that glue before it <laughs> falls. See, there's hardly any in it. It was dripping out loads. It's probably the, really the, the last bit of it. Yep. Yeah, I'm all, all fingers and fingers and thumbs today. So I'm, I'm just eyeballing this one up to to that one just to to make sure it's it's straight. That looks fine. Make sure that's still. Yeah, that looks fine. So just burnish that down. <coughs> yep. Glue squadged out there. So, and then let's get it on that. I'm just eyeball. That up with the one above. Just check your bottom. So manoeuvre it if need be. And then just give it a burnish down just to, just to flatten it. And I just, yeah, that's, that's fine. Let me just put that back upside down. I've just got like a little milk bottle here and I've been just keeping it. In there, let me just get that bit of glue up here so that it get anything stuck, stuck on it. That's that. 
So yeah, there we are. I am just going to put my bone folder in, just make sure that nothing, you know, none of the pockets actually stuck down because when I come to use them it, in a few months and then they're all stuck down. So yeah, that's fine. So that's that one. Then we'll do this one. So again, just give it just a quick ink line, nothing, nothing major. And so there's quite a lot of cutting out for, for this one, but um with all the sizes being being the same, it's it's not bad at all. Um I didn't find it confusing um and i'm not very good at measuring things right so we are going to get these three together again make sure they're all down together just try and eyeball the middle Oof. And then just fold them all down. And then if any of the corners aren't fitting correctly, you can just give them another bit of a a bit of a snip. I think that could just do with a little bit more. So yeah, you can kind of feel if it's too bulky on the corner, then you perhaps just need to come in just a little, little bit more. That's it. So that's going to be the middle one. The UD folding pages would have been bigger. I would have done um, the three uh, pictures of, of the same one, so it was a continuation of, but um, there wasn't. So that's. All upside down. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, that's it. So we're going that way on this one. Yeah, that's right. Let's see if this some of this glue's gone down. Just a moment. So it's coming now. So I'm just line that up. Straightish. Get this middle one down before this glue squirts out and I lose some. Not got enough to, to lose any. Some of the writing at the back isn't dead straight. It can kind of put you off. 
turn that volume off now. Right, get this bit of glue before it goes goopy goopy. What's that? I'm going to put the lid back on for the next one. Not into this one. that middle one a bit too too low down but that's okay I think they're straight on on the ends so that's another one love that one and then the last one Mary, I'm going to decorate one of these because uh, Carol says <laughs> that she's been missing um, the decorating part. So I did tell her that um, I would I would decorate one because um, and I've missed doing the decorating as well. But um, yeah, I think the plan is that then Dee Dee is going to go through everything we've we've already made and then <clears throat> decorate everything up and, and make the tags and things so there should be quite a few weeks of of just decorating but um yeah i'm going to start just decorating the one that i made up as a as i show you at the beginning i shall just decorate that one Yeah. Gosh, I went down a skew with them. Right, let's get these together. Hey, you want something? That's it. <laughs> Thought there was all the wrong sides then. <sighs> so, just, oh. Cut all these inked. them back down again because it was a lot easier when when there was flatter that's better. so that's the middle one <laughs> it really isn't and like I say if you're not using any kind of direction paper as well that you won't even have to have to think about it so that's going to be the top isn't it that's going to be the bottom oh lovely right let's hope that this glue just just does the job Dee Dee did hers that she stuck the, the top and then the bottom on 
the only reason I didn't do mine that way is I would I thought I would find that bit hard to to measure up that's why I did go in order but then obviously then you can't get um, the same gap in between each one if you know if you're not measuring so I shall try it this way but yeah I, I find that really hard figuring it out if it's I think, I think, oh. right, and then this one, Yeah, you, you definitely do get a better uh, in-between space doing it that way. So, that is that one. Right, let me put this lid on. Oh, I hate it when there's only just a bit left. You just seem to get getting a right a right pickle right so we've got oh three going that way and one going that way would have been nice to have had two of each but um i was more concerned with, with getting them done than thinking about uh the ways so i shall save those three and i shall uh, decorate this one. <coughs> Let me check. I'm right in the middle. Oh, I hope I've not been too too low. Sorry if I if I have. Um. So I've got my little basket out. I've got some die cut um, butterflies. I wonder if that's on this one now. They're a bit bit too pale for it. I don't know if this No, I'm not not keen on that. I think it's it's too too pale. So yeah, I've got this bit of lace. I did think I might run that all the way up there do i like that am i going to have enough glue let's see we haven't a bed delivered i'm guessing that <clears throat> that they're here so I'm just trying to run a bead of glue all the way, all the way up. And I'm going to have the flat parts to the back. I'll just go over a little bit so I can trim, trim that off. So... Yeah, that looks straight. I'll just leave it a minute before I start cutting it. Now I've got some um, little quotey things or sayings. It's possibly a bit long. I do like that. Oh, that's a, it's more about autumn. I've got a nice little bee, I like it. Um, I've got 
on the same flower, that's a bit big though, it's a bit much. A bit tall. Oh, I've got a nice butterfly here. So I could possibly put a butterfly on there. Put that onto there. I do quite like that bee there, but I'm not fancying the bee and the butterfly. What's there now? I want to take that away. Let me see if I can find a little flower. Something like that would be nice, but it's wrong colour, really. No, it really, for me, it, it can't take two. It's quite another butterfly. No, both facing the same. Same way. Right kind of shape, wrong colour. <laughs> I think the rest of them are quite quite big underneath. So where's that bee gone? I think I'm not going to have the butterfly. I've lost my bee. There he is. So I think I'm gonna go <coughs> like that. Um I have got some peachy peachy pinky coloured lace. I'm wondering if to have a bit of oh have a bit of that on the pocket. So, let me think, let me just straighten that up a little bit, I can't see. So if I put those words on there, and then just kind of go around it. Hopefully I've got, got enough of these scissors on very good on on lace. The rubbish. <laughs> Off the off the top. with some better scissors. It's a bit hard to get a straightish, straightish line. So that can go that way. Like 
can go there. Just cut that little bit off there. Oh, come on, B. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. Right, so. <clears throat> let's hope that I've got enough glue to, to glue this down. Bunch it up a little bit. What's that? I think all these are ready. I'm glad I did. It was a it was a big job sitting inking them all, but um, it took me a, like a day, to, well, a couple of goes at cutting them out, and then a couple of goes at, at inking. So I think we can go there. Maybe I might have to be be there because there's that nice little opening there. So pop that there. Let's just so I'll just cut this lace off. Yeah, and I cut my finger off. Just cut, cut on there a little bit. So yeah, I've, I think that's that's plenty. Let's just see what a butterfly looks like. No, it's it's too too close. Yeah, if I find a full butterfly, I might um, <clears throat> put one one in there, but um, I can't see one to hand. So for now, that that's that. So thank you very much for joining me. I shall be back shortly with part two. Bye for now.